Hello everyone. Now I'm gonna show you how to put a backup to the MyVCare website from the very beginning. Now this um, step, there are three steps for making up the put a backup and restore this backup. Then make the relative changes in the code and SQL code back database. So the first step is go in go to this um, MyVCare website. Um, we have to in, 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 we have to install this uh, plugin. Um, so go to this dashboard, find this plugin menu, click Add New. In the search plugin area, just search search this all dash in dash one. All in one. You can see this one. All in one WP migration plugin is already installed. If you didn't install this one, just click install now and active. After activated this plugin, let's go into in the menu here. You can see all in one migration now is installed. So the first thing we have to do is export the um, backup file for this website. Simply go export, choose this one export to button. We're gonna export to a file on a local machine. So um, it will just scanning all these websites and archiving all the files we needed. So um, it's gonna take some time, so just sit back and relax. Yeah, now we can see this website is already um, back up. So it asks us to download this file, which is 220 megabits. At, this, at the time you are, you're making this backup, it should be something more or less than this file. But anyway, just click this green button here to download this file. Depends on your website, um, your, your internet access, um, it's going to take about one or two minutes to be fully downloaded. Okay, now you can see this file is properly downloaded. You, we can get access to this file. Um, see where where did I put it? Yeah, this is the file. Yeah, I just downloaded. It. It's about four hundred twenty megabits. So um, we finished the first step, which is export this uh the old um website. So the second step now is going to our instance. We just created this instance. This is uh, you can see T2 Micro on AWS website. So we just go this uh, go to this instance. 
by right click here and we can see this is, this is a brand new um, web corporate website so we just go add in username should be user we, we can find this password by right clicking on this um, this instance go to system log let's go down to the uh, almost the very bad uh, yeah. we can see this uh, this is the username and the password credentials just copy this credential paste it somewhere later maybe we need it just copy and paste it here so uh, we can probably log in in our user account yeah that's great this is the brand new um, uh, brand new website of wordpress so the first thing we can do is uh, probably if you like just delete everything generate it automatically so I'll also include these uh, all the plugins here I just deactivated them and just delete everything sorry delete everything Now this one, yeah, or start. From the very beginning now, so we still need to install the plugin for O in one. O dash in dash one. Yeah, O W O in one WP migration install now. So and activate it. The other, the only difference from um, export to that one is we need to add one new plugin, which we can upload the file from the uh, shared folder. Share with you. There is a package there. There is a plugin called. Uh, in one WP migration unlimited extension. Only with this one, this plugin installed and activated. So we can upload our um, 420 megabits backup file into our website. So um, now we wanna just backup restore everything. So we need to go and go to this all in one migration menu, select import choose the file from your local machine this this is the file i just downloaded four minutes ago double click it will automatically import all the contents we need so um, just sit tight and relax add some water whatever then wait and see Yeah, after this um, scanning, it, it will it will say um, this import process will override the website, including blah blah blah. So we need to yeah, definitely we want to re rewrite everything. So it's yeah, now it's restoring all the files, database. Imported successfully, great. So we just finished. And if you just click this reload page, you now you need to um, input the uh, credentials provided separately. Uh, in the, in the uh, document view, suggest where we put these credentials at. So I just copy the username and password and paste here. Click login. Now this website is clear.
is uh, properly restored. We can see all our uh, plugins is in restored from previous one. Yeah, this is all all the plugins we need, and we can visit the site, which is awesome now. Seems everything properly um, restored back. Yeah, this calculator, this calculator needs some some adjust with uh, the uh, code as well as the database. So this comes to the uh, the third step, which is uh, make changes to this website, specifically about about the code and database. So the first thing we want to go is um, the left panel here. Just choose the uh, PHP code here. Yeah. You can see this calculator, which is active, is now used to um, to connect it to the to the database. But this part, we need to change the old username and password according to the new instance settings. Um, if uh, in case how we you want to know how to get access to these credentials, you can simply go to um, Connect that with this uh, filezilla. Um, it should be installed on your web, on your uh, local machine. If you just download it from its website, you just run this filezilla file app actually, and go to the uh, host, the host IP address, which can be found here on the AWS. As website, paste this name here, choose the port, click click connect. Okay, now this is connected. All I'm gonna do, what I'm gonna do is go to this Vietnamese folder. There is a app, WordPress, HTTOX. So thing we are looking for is the username and password for the database, which is stored in this w, wp config .php file. We only need to view or edit it. Actually, we have to save this file. Contain folder. We want to view this file with our favorite. Either. Yeah. You can see this is the new username and password for the database. So we simply need to change our PHP code, update this password here. And you can see it. It's what username is bn dash underscore WordPress, and the password is this one. I simply copy it here. Yeah, paste. Okay, now we can click update, go back to our site, click calculator, you can see, yeah, this layout is back on, back on again, but the thing is now, because of the database, I cannot do any queries here, if I just leave it for some uh, valid item numbers, I tried before, you can see there is a hint, it says, please enter the right item number, so um, the thing is the backup um, the backend database is not currently running. So the last thing we're gonna need to do is just go to this to update this database to this plugin wp dash php my admin. Just click this enter php dash my admin. Um, we need to log in as well. We have to we have to make another setting. Use this HTTPS. Click this one. Um, save changes. So uh, we can log in into this PHP my admin file correctly. Proceed to this one. This this thing this error is because of um, we didn't include these SSL settings in our website. 
after you finish the reading um, the, the part for SSL and SSL you will, you will be you can get access to this um, HBM admin plugin directly so yeah for now we can see there is a whole bunch of tables in this database the thing now we need to do is just copy uh, the file which is also included in this um, package in the database go scripts we want to open this with all the favorites and you know yeah I think we need to um, select everything copy it paste in these SQL files yeah. and we need to do one more change here instead of using MicroDB which was the previous instance database we need to use this right here from the Vietnamese WordPress use this one this database that simply works using this Vietnamese WordPress create a new table insert all these values into the table then yeah everything should be fine we can click go it is loading I think the database is being updated now um, so it's gonna take one or two minutes I think so let's wait returned empty result set oh, so we just click, click again um, and see there is a MPS schedule table here which include all these item numbers schedule fee benefit cool beautiful so now probably everything should be working properly now so we just go calculator, put some valid information, click submit. Yep. Okay, cool. Everything is fine now. Um, calculator can give you the right results. And this claim instructions page, they are pretty well. You can see the, this video for our home page. Every page is usually working properly. Yeah, that's it. Thank you for visiting. Hope you have a good day. Bye bye.